Day 5 of the BMW Motorrad International GS Trophy in Albania. The participants will ride westward from deep within the countryside and will end the day at the picturesque beach town of Himare, just in time for sunset. Okay, gentlemen, please start your engines. The Senna Motorball Trial, the first special stage of day five, is held next to an idyllic lake. A peaceful backdrop for what will be an exciting and adrenaline-packed challenge for all the participants. You have one shot for the kick. If you hit the goal, you get bonus points, and the Senna flex at the end is the finish line. Okay. Once the first of you is in the finish line, the second starts. Same procedure, third one starts. Away from the starting line, the riders must navigate a difficult rocky section followed by tight turns, which demand a gentle clutch and throttle control. Next up, a sudden blast of power from the mighty boxer engine. The riders must try to skillfully skid the motorcycle and hit the football with the rear wheel in order to score a goal. From there, it's a short race to the finish line and a spectacular ending. I got the goal, so that's the main thing. That's unique for England. Yeah, yeah, one off that is. <laughs> Uh, it went okay. I didn't uh, manage to kick the ball, but I think it doesn't matter. I didn't uh, do any mistakes. Again, spectacular scenery welcomes the riders on today's morning ride. First along the Fiosa Canyon roads with thrilling corners, then back to more rugged trails into the Mali e Niemeska mountains. The versatile GS1250 handles all this terrain with ease. But riding in such extreme conditions means you have to be ready to face some problems. As long as there are just minor issues, the well-equipped and highly experienced marshals step in to fix the problem in no time. It's enough over the air pressure. OK, I checked. During this epic morning ride across the beautiful, ever-changing landscapes of Albania, the participants have time for a quick break and a chance to meet the locals. Refreshed, the GS Trophy Marshals skillfully lead their teams further along the dramatic Fiosa Canyon roads with stunning views, lush grassland and breathtaking valley trails. The beauty and sheer variety of Albania's untouched landscape is a constant thrill for the GS Trophy riders. To top it all off, the participants will end their day on the beautiful Mediterranean coastline, following the twists and turns of the coastal road to a unique special stage. After another adrenaline-packed day in the saddle, tonight's camp at Mombas Beach will be a relaxed affair. First, the participants have a chance to swap their riding gear for swimwear and to get ready for the next special stage. The teams use the short break to set up their tents and shower off the dust from the day. The marshals are already awaiting them at the waterfront for a somewhat different, but definitely refreshing special stage. We have a non-riding special stage and this non-riding special stage includes swimming and a SUP and a BMW Motorrad a tank bag. One is running with the tank pack down to the SUP. The other person is at the beach, going around the boy that we installed in the sea, coming back 
handing it over to the third person and the third person is coming back here. Fast, frantic fun sums up this off-bike challenge. And with so many teams, still with a lot to win and lose, the participants give it all they've got for maximum points. Another exciting and spectacular day of the GS Trophy is coming to an end. As the scores are added up, the teams gather to shoot and upload some new videos for social media and then check out the new rankings on the leaderboard. It's tight at the top of the men's category, with South Africa and the UK sharing the top spot and Germany still in contention. The top three female teams are all close together. Five days down and with just two more to go, the GS Trophy score couldn't be closer. Camping on the beach or out in the countryside means the participants can't plug in their devices or experience the comforts of home. One more reason why the support crews are such an important part of this event. The problem is that all the participants sleep in tents and they don't have um, any, any possibility to charge their phone at night. So we came up with the idea, I think um, already in Mongolia, that we give them power banks. Besides power banks for the team members, Maximilian and his crew provide Wi-Fi connections at every base camp, especially for journalists, social media teams and photographers, to make sure everyone has the opportunity to share their experiences with their friends around the world. We're in the final stages of the event now, and hopefully all the competitors have had a good night's rest here on the shores of the Mediterranean in Albania, because they've had a lot of hard days of riding and the event is definitely not over. Today is gonna to be the longest day of the event and another hard day of riding with a very special riding highlight at the end. While the participants are making final preparations for the start, the logistic teams are busy dismantling the shower cabins and toilets. They need to make it in time to the next base camp, where they will set everything up again before the riders arrive the same evening. Today's route leads the GS Trophy riders away from the coastline, back up the Saraunian Mountains, across rocky ridgelines and twisty roads, combined with impressive views and meandering dirt trails. Albania's seemingly endless and vast rural and mountain landscape is what makes this year's GS Trophy so special, creating a dramatic stage for unbeatable adventure bike riding, getting better each and every day. At high elevation, on top of one of the countless mountain ridges, the first special stage of day six has been set up by the marshals. A special stage that could well leave you totally in the dark. As you can see, you couldn't see anything. Welcome to the first special stage of the day, the BMW Motorrad Connected Ride Com U1 Challenge. This is the blind challenge. Both riders enter the course, they're both riding, one is navigating a course and the other is instructing that rider how to get through it using the communication system. We'll see how they do. Looks like you're the lucky one that gets to ride blind. Good luck. Good luck. This special stage asks for a lot of trust, patience, and guidance from the teammates. The blindfolded rider needs to trust the instructions of his fellow team members who are giving him directions, while they themselves need to cruise the marked area without putting a foot down. And again, the stopwatch is ticking. <laughs> With the first special stage complete, the riders can again enjoy the beautiful sights of the Albanian countryside as the GS Trophy now heads up north. And it's this incredible landscape that gives the participants the ultimate taste of freedom on two wheels. These off-road trails are made for a spectacular adventure bike riding experience and the perfect backdrop to capture memories that will last a lifetime. It's an exciting day six for the GS Trophy riders. 
The tracks guide them further up the mountains as they are bound for Amantia, an ancient amphitheater built in the third century BC. Here, lunch awaits, as well as the next special stage of the day. Thanks to the technical support crews, even up here, satellite-supported Wi-Fi coverage is guaranteed. This makes sure the BMW social media teams can constantly share all the action live with GS Trophy fans all over the world. So we have a really wonderful job to do. We can spread the joy, we can spread the spirit of GS. Out there we have a really wonderful community. They are so enthusiastic, they interact with us, give us directly feedback. And it's really cool to see what's happening here and then out there. This challenge is once again off the motorcycles and involves one of the INEOS Grenadier support vehicles. The riders first have to run 50 meters, then pull the 4x4 car back to where they started. Let's not forget, the participants already had an energy-sapping ride before lunch and now have to find some extra brute strength, stamina and fierce determination. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> yes! Back on the bikes and with the day's special stages behind them, the riders can now relax a bit and soak up Albania's sights and flavors while heading back west for a spectacular ride along the water's edge. Riding through the lagoon gives the film and photo crews the chance to capture some incredible group footage. For the riders themselves, it's time to have fun and bond with their teammates as they head back to base camp. Some of them reflect on the day. Sad because it's uh, the one before the last one. So, uh, but otherwise uh, super nice and uh, like riding uh, next to the lagoon. Today was a bit more uh, relaxing than uh, the previous days. Um, the rocks weren't as bad. The first section was a bit uh, not tough. It was just a, a bit uh, loose rocks and uh, bigger rocks. And then from there on, uh, it was quite nice. It was quite easy. The GS Trophy has toured a vast part of Albania over the past six days, with amazing views and stunning routes. But now, at the end of day six, they are back where they all started on day one. Back in base camp, camping on the beach. The teams celebrate each other's achievements as the day's scores are revealed. With South Africa taking a slender lead from the UK in the men's category, and Germany's women's team giving away the lead for the first time since day one, also to South Africa. The table is set for a dramatic final day of the GS Trophy 2022. With all the GS 1250 machines immaculately prepared and ready to go, the riders get themselves ready for the important final day. Today is the last day and it's important not to relax. It's easy to see the, the goalposts are there, but we've still got 80 Ks, 60 off-road to do, and it's super technical. I think all our senses uh, have been stimulated. I have goosebumps the whole time. Um, it's just so such an intense experience. After setting off, this morning the teams will soon find themselves back in the countryside, doing a tough and demanding loop section before heading back to camp. into this beautiful landscape behind me. And they'll be faced with some extremely challenging terrain at the bottom. Once they get through it, it's back to camp for the final special stage. Dramatic ridgelines carve out the path for this morning's ride. Technically demanding and energy sapping trails force the teams to go the famous extra mile and prove to themselves that they have what it takes. Oh. 
We're here in one of the most technical sections on the last day of the GS Trophy. This corner, there's only one line to get through, and if you make a mistake in a split second, your bike's either going down or you're not gonna make it up the hill. If any of the participants struggle, the marshals are there to offer tips and experience and ensure that the riders all make it up safely. Rugged climbs and tough terrain lift the BMW GS1250 into a class of its own and set new standards in the biggest of the adventure motorcycle divisions. The unique boxer engine created by BMW provides a low center of gravity, which translates into constant agility and traction for the rider. Back at base camp, support crews and marshals are busy designing the most challenging special stage of them all. And not only that, to increase the pressure on the teams, this special stage will be rewarded with double points, which could turn the leaderboard upside down in an instant. Well, it's the perfect final special stage. Well done. Okay. Yes, well done. Perfect. That's cool. That's going to be much fun. Yoo-hoo! The film and photo crews also arrive at base camp, celebrating what makes the GS Trophy so special. It's just like family, you know, it, it's like you get addicted to, to meet these guys, to go riding with these guys, and I'm blown away by the passion they have. Passion, determination and teamwork are the ingredients that make up every GS Trophy, whether for the participants, organizers, marshals or film crew. They all unite to share this make life a ride spirit, this passion for adventure riding, and a meeting of like minded people. How would I describe it? it? It's a, this is how it's. <laughs> he took the words right out of my mouth. After an exhausting week and a tough morning loop, all the riders use the chance to take a short break, recharge, and get ready for the final and most difficult special stage. You see, everybody had a, quite a tough three-hour loop this morning. It was absolutely challenging, very beautiful tracks, but still you always had to be focused. And now what we built up here, once they come into the final stage, and so far we have no idea who could win or, co or will win. So we wait until this, this section is done. After this special stage, it's double points. I guess it will be mind-blowing. Also the female riders, the first four, are still in range of winning. So we need to see today here what actually happens and who will win the International Cheers Trophy 2022. It's the female teams who are up first on the final special stage. And this course was designed to push them all to their limits. Ladies, welcome to the final stage of the International Cheers Trophy 2022. With double points up for grabs and still three teams in the hunt for victory, the pre-race atmosphere is like a pressure cooker. Ladies go all in and give it their best shot, showing great technical skills combined with fierce determination. This final test asks the women's teams to dig deep and show their never give up attitude and team spirit. And then the final flag drops for them. It's a dream come true to stay here and do it and qualify in Mexico City in and I do it, I, I do so, so fucking very good here. I did, did all, all my best in every single proof. With my team, Mr. Pinzon. I'm feeling so satisfied because this, is, this was the, a, a perfect experience, a marvelous experience in my life. Oh, it's bittersweet, because I'm tired. But if you give me a couple of days, I could do it all over again. <laughs> It was nice, it was awesome. It's, uh, it's an experience that if anyone has the chance and opportunity to fight for, they should do it, yeah. 
Now it's the men's turn on the final stage. With so many teams having a chance to take home the victory honor, each rider has to give it his absolute best one last time on this technically demanding and exhausting course. This being a team challenge and with three riders per team, there is so much on the line as the participants face the toughest test so far. And with the standing so close, dropping the bike, digging in the rear tire, or even one dap of the foot can decide who's going to win the GS Trophy 2022. It has been the week of a lifetime for all the teams, creating memories they'll never forget. Awesome, on, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 it was absolutely awesome, yeah. yeah. Really enjoyed Seemed it. Seemed to mix with a lot of the teams at different points as well, so a nice way to round out the week. It's sad that uh, now it's over after seven days. There's so many impressions, so many new friends. It's, it was a great week and it's very, very sad that it's end in the day today. Once in a lifetime experience, uh, if you were on the fence, it, it, I cannot recommend this enough to anybody. It's, it's just, there's nothing else like it. It's just an experience of a lifetime, really, you know. It's, it, you've got to get and do the GS Trophy qualifiers, you know. Get to your own country's qualifiers and get it done. It's, it's an amazing trip. Absolutely out of this world. You, you guys have to try this. Get a GS, come, try, come train and build it up. You, you won't be sorry. It'll become a lifetime dream to do. Thanks a lot, guys. With the last special stage of this year's GS Trophy completed, a happy Stefanie Grund meets with her colleague Dania Czerniewski before one last highlight, the winner's ceremony. It's the spirit. It was so amazing because everybody was thrilled to be here and the guys were so happy that they made it here. And every crew member does it for a certain reason and they are really all very into that event. It is not just like doing a job, but they really want to do that. And this is what it makes so amazing about the event. Yeah, and this is what I really like about it. The end of the GS Trophy sees riders united as friends from around the world after a week living the spirit of GS and a time they will never forget. All the riders had experienced their own moments of intense joy, as well as testing their physical and mental toughness over the past seven days, giving each and every one of them a lifetime experience and many stories to tell. It's a very tight final, with South Africa winning the GS Trophy 2022, while Great Britain, after pushing to the very end, comes in second. Team Germany kept their rivals on their toes throughout the competition and can celebrate a formidable third place. Making it a clean sweep across both categories, the ladies from South Africa edge out an awesome German team by a margin of one single point. And it's the riders from Mexico who take home their award for an impressive third place finish. It has been a fantastic BMW Motorrad International GS Trophy 2022 in Albania, bringing out the best of each rider, every single one of them a winner, all of them united in the spirit of GS.